I'm here today with attorney Brian Brockway and we're going to talk about BVA hearings, specifically what they entail, um, what benefits that they can provide to a case, and just what to expect if you're uh, going to be attending one. Right, so the BVA is, is the Board of Veterans Appeals. This is an appeal level um, which pulls the claim out of the regional office or RO. There are two appeal levels uh, at the RO, a higher level review and a supplemental claim. This is going to a, a veterans law judge uh, at, at the board uh, and removing it from, from the RO. So it's kind of a higher level, if, if you will. Um, there are three different options for hearings. Uh, you can have no hearing. You can request no hearing and ask them to the judge to decide uh, on the merits and the evidence that's already in, in the record. Uh, you can request a hearing in DC in person, um, or you can request a, a virtual hearing. Um, the virtual hearing is one that we recommend a, a lot. It gives a chance for the veteran to put evidence into the record uh, in their own words or evidence that maybe wasn't there uh, previously. Um, the benefit to, to having a hearing is that the entire transcript from the hearing then becomes part of the record and can be referred to um, and is a way to, to, to get evidence into the record. Um, the virtual hearing is, is a great option because veterans don't have to travel. Uh, you can do it on your computer, uh, like a Zoom call, where you actually have a, a um, camera, and it's, a, it's usually a, a three-way call with the, the attorney, the judge, and, and the veteran. Uh, if the veteran does not have access to that, uh, the VA has actually instituted um, a teleconference where the veteran can call in from their cell phone uh, and be part of the hearing, and again, it will all go uh, on the transcript the same as if it was a regular hearing. Um, the one major downside uh, is that it will add time to a BVA decision. The BVA already takes quite a while to make decisions. Um, getting on the docket and, and actually getting a hearing can request time, so it can extend the length of the hearing, but it can also add a lot of benefit um, for the veteran to explain their, their side and to, 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 get, get their, uh, to get evidence that previously wasn't in the record uh, onto the record for the, the judge to consider. Um, it also allows there's a period 90 days after the hearing uh, to submit new evidence. So there's yet again a, another opportunity to submit additional evidence that was gathered in between the request for the hearing and the actual hearing itself. Uh, and sometimes that evidence can prove pivotal in, in a favorable decision for the veteran.